don't cram 20 people in Zoom. Fluorescent lighted office all day long. You know, you probably are going to work from home. Hello and welcome to episode number 39 of No Office, a podcast about work, technology and life from remote company perspective. My name is Rafał Sobolewski and as always, I'm joined by CEO of our No Office company and my good friend, Michael Slivinski. Hello, Michael. How are you today? Good, good, good. Uh, we are back from our Nosby reunion. We have just seen each other. So it's good to see you, Rafa, again, but it was good to spend time with you for the last whole week. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that was really fun. Yeah. Mm, we, yeah, we met with the whole team in the beautiful city of Lublin. <laughs> Lublin. Yes. Uh, yeah, we did some cool stuff, but yeah, we will talk about it uh, in the later, um, later uh, in the further part of the episode. Uh, and today, um, as I wrote down my notes to the, to the podcast, to this episode, I see that we want to talk about writing stuff down. Exactly. I mean, you know, <laughs> it might sound obvious, but it's not. Uh, so I dedicated the whole chapter on my, uh, of my No Office book to this uh, subject. If you go to nooffice.org slash write. And um, the chapter's name is exactly write stuff down. And it's about this fact, we talked, you know, in the last episode about, about hybrid uh, work style, about being hybrid. And being hybrid means having all the information in one place accessible from anywhere. And it means writing much more than you think, because you will no longer only through, you know, hanging out together, like we did on the reunion, just, you know, and, and, and talking on meetings, but you have to write stuff down for everyone else to see, for yourself to see in the future, <laughs> to be able to check with your past self. So basically writing stuff down is really important to write, you know, in a good way, to write good comments, write thorough comments, uh, write thorough feedback, and really take time to write and to really hone writing skills. I remember when, you know, when I was listening to, 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 to people, um, I think it was um, still the guys from Basecamp where they said that they were, when they were hiring, they would say that when in doubt between two candidates, a better writer wins. So the, the skill set to write stuff down well, coherent, concise, concise in a good way is really important. Ah, that's, that's interesting. But, but that's, really a, yeah, yeah. that's a really good idea because yeah, writing, writing stuff down with in a coherent coherent way with straight to the point is a really good skill especially now with with all the hybrid and remote work uh, yeah and we really see it in in our company uh, as mm -hmm. well um, yeah and, and funny thing that because writing stuff down is like the most important habit or first habit of getting things done Oh yes, uh, methodology. Yeah, so it's like it's very important for your personal productivity, but it's much more important for your team productivity also. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's really it's really crucial to be able to add tasks from anywhere quickly. Like instead of keeping it in your mind, yeah, I'm going to create a task about it later. You know, no, 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 do it now. Um, that's why people are. That's why many customers have been asking for our uh, Mac app, and we will link in the show notes to our beta version of the Mac app and the Windows app, which is also coming soon. That uh, they want to be able to have a shortcut to quickly add stuff to Nosby, and that's why we have a share sheet on iOS to add stuff quickly to Nosby. And we are still tweaking the ways how you can add stuff to Nosby. Um, this way, um, when you have a thought, when you have an idea, write it up, write it down. Um, it's like, you know, whenever we talk um, uh, on Zoom meetings or where we hang out um, uh, and somebody's like, yeah, Michael, did you re do you rem remember about that? And I'm like, yeah, uh, not really. Uh, where is the task for that? <laughs> so like if yeah. there is no task, <laughs> it won't be done. You know, uh, Michael Hyatt used to say what gets scheduled gets done. And I say, if there is no task for that, <laughs> it's not going to get done. <laughs> yes, exactly. And um and writing stuff down 
even for for yourself it's it's really important because um talking like a geek uh in geek language your brain is not your storage no it's your cpu gpu and ram it's it's your m1 actually it's your <laughs> it's your silicon <laughs> uh, you 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 need it to generate uh, generate great ideas and to calculate stuff to to analyze stuff and not to remember stuff yeah that's that's why you you need to have your trusted system you you need to write stuff down in in notes in nosby at wh whatever tool to suits you yes and um always to write stuff down then. I mean, now. And, you know, when you have this idea, when you have this moment, or when you have to remember that, just write it up. Write it up in a system or in a way, like ideally, for example, in Nosby, in your single tasks or in a project, but in a way that you'll know you'll get there. You'll know you'll, 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 uh, you'll go through it so you won't uh, forget it. Uh, very often I... Um, I mean, my, my brain is already, after 15 years of running Nosby, it's it's just completely wired like this. So when people ask me, Michael, do you remember that? I'm like, nope, I don't remember that. But I have I know where it is, so I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I can tell you exactly which hour or whatever, but I have to check it out. I don't remember these things. Yeah, you don't remember the um, the whole whole idea, but you remember, you, you have a reference in your brain that it, yes. it is in your system. Exactly, exactly. So, so you save... you you. You save a space in your brain, and that way your brain is free to to generate brilliant ideas, because but, it's not occupied to remember everything you need to do. <laughs> exactly, and that's why it's 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 so important to have this trusted system, to have the system where you know you can go there back and see where it is and see exactly like, the details, you know, um, everything. The that's why even uh, when you have like a personal to do app or like when you have a team of one in Nosby, uh, just for yourself. It's so important to keep writing stuff in the comments about tasks, because this way you communicate with yourself, with your future self. So like uh, so many things we do like once a year or once every quarter, like or at once every two years. And then like when the time comes, you're like, oh, so I have to renew this license. How did it go again? Like, so just having the task, renew license or renew, I don't know, do checkup or like, write it up in the comment. So first go here, log in here, like click there. Remember to, 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 to mark this checkpoint, like do it all for yourself. Like do your own manual for yourself, for your future self. So next year it's going to be so easy. I remember in the beginning when we when I had just only a few domains um, for Nosby, Nosby.com, Nosby.net, Nosby.something. And... I remember uh, one of the registers we used for local domains had a really bad user interface, really clunky. So basically every year I was rediscovering how to use it because <laughs> it was so bad. And then like after I think second year, I decided, man, I'm going to write this up. So I, write it, I wrote it down. Go here, click on this link, go there, um, uh, click there, renew, you're done. And then next year I was so thankful to myself that I, I did it. Because it was just straightforward. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's if you look at this like the uh, in that way, it's kind of an investment. Yeah, you yeah. need to spend like five minutes to write write things down how to, how to do a thing, and then you after a year you 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 save yourself like fifteen minutes or even more <laughs> to figuring mm. out or much this, more or this clunky user interface. Much more because you're writing stuff up wh while you're doing them, for example. So it doesn't take you so much extra time, but then next year, like you don't have to rediscover the thing, and you lose an hour or so. Like it's it's just it's it, it can be just a, a, yes. A... And and uh, additional point. Let's say the next year you hire a, an assistant to do it for you. Right. You have, you have everything written down, so you just delegate the stuff to to your assistant, and they can jump jump in, re read the comments, and and yeah, they, they know what to do. I think this is exactly a brilliant, brilliant point that, you know, we assume it's going to stay, I mean, what we're doing is going to stay like this forever. So when people s sign up for, for a personal Nosby just for themselves, they think, you know, I'm going to be just on my own. I don't need anyone else. And then you realize, hey, maybe I need an assistant or a coworker, or maybe my business, you know, thrives. And then I need more people. Then 
all the investment I've done in my system and putting all these projects and tasks and writing up these comments pays off in dividends. Like it's just beautiful. And you know, and it, and you're like, whoa, accidentally I created a system. <laughs> Yes, and that's uh, we call it transparency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, you you should be transparent with you, with you, with future yourself, and uh, with your team. And uh, I really, uh, uh, I really felt how how important it is, uh, especially when when the war on, in Ukraine started, and we started this gathering the gathering staff in our local community center. Yeah, and. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, the communication was was a house. It, it it wasn't transparent. It was like, okay, uh, this person knows this, uh, another person knows this. Uh, oh, this person called to to this center. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it's it it wasn't transparent at all. And uh, the system like this, like Nosby or any other uh, tool, is yeah, it's it's really crucial for your for yourself and for your team to to use it because. Yeah, it teaches you how to write stuff down uh, and it just facilitates communication and people don't have to spend time on, on searching stuff, on figuring out uh, how, how, to, how to do something or uh, who to ask, etc. Yeah, I mean, um, I hate to admit it, you know, but, you know, the... Uh, king has no clothes, so uh, we uh, we um, the emperor has no clothes. Uh, the the fact is that for many years we've been using as our Nosby company many additional tools, not just Nosby, but you know we use Nosby to build Nosby, but we also use other tools, like for example here Streamyard um, uh, to record this and all that stuff. So we use many tools, and we didn't really keep track of all of them. You know, like, like somebody was a manager of this tool, somebody was using that tool. Like it was, so only last year we built a project called Subscriptions, where each task is a different subscription for different thing. And like, you know, uh, so we have this account, we use this for, you know, sending emails, and this is called, this is the service name, this is who, who is the admin, this is how much we pay monthly or yearly or whatever. Like we write everything in the comment. Like, you know, like really like all the details. And this way, uh, when we um, have to upgrade or, you know, downgrade, or we have to figure out like who has the password to this thing, it's all there. It says, you know, th there is a password in our one password director's vault or one password marketing vault. And so you know where it is, you know who, who, which email to use, you know everything, you know? And this way also, security, we started using 2FA, so um, multi-factor authentication, for most of these services because we found out that we were not using them very, very often because, you know, like somebody forgot. So it really gives us a place that we know, we have, like, we have one project where we know all the services, external services that we use. We know who's in charge of all of these, like of each of them, and what to do with them and how to renew and all that stuff. So it's, it's fantastic. And I just I can't understand why we were not doing it before, because we should have. So really, there's a pro tip for you. Don't be like us. Have a subscription <laughs> project <laughs> earlier than us. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Because yeah, that, there were times when, when some subscription expired and some service stopped working. And, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then like, wait, who's in charge on this? Like, why did it expire? Like, where's our domain? Like, what happened? <laughs> All that stuff. This, this, this can't be like this. Like, we can't have it like that. We have to uh, be able to manage it. And of course, because in Nosby, we can set for each task a date or something like that. So we know when it renews, you know, where is the due date or where we have to renegotiate or whatever. So this is just a basic example of just putting that in one place. So now everybody knows that to find out about service that we use, just go to the subscriptions project and it's all in there. Uh, yeah, plus it's it's all when things are written down, they are searchable. Oh yeah, so they are easy easy to find. In many tools, there are the, the the search is default right now in in all of the apps. And yeah, f finding stuff in Nosby, for example, is really easy. You just hit Command K or uh, or Control yeah. K on Windows, and 
yeah, there is this jump to window. You start typing and you can really, really easily find tasks, projects, and comments. Exactly. So people don't even have to know that we have a subscriptions project. For example, they want to know who's managing Slack, let's say. So they, they comment K, Slack, and they will get the, find very yeah. quickly the task responsible for Slack in the subscriptions projects, uh, project. So it's really easy to find. You're, you're totally right. Like, and, and this is this is a big deal. When um, the, the advantage of written word, of writing stuff down, is that it's searchable much easier than audio or video. Audio and video is great. Like, you know, if you're watching this uh, live or in the in the replay on YouTube, uh, that's great. You can see me. Hey, hello. Yes, but we uh, are getting there because like uh, every now, for example, when you post a video somewhere or audio, the automatic transcription is... It's happening, yeah. Yeah, it's happening. So... We are getting there slowly. Uh, we are not; it's not yet that searchable as, as written text, but yeah, yeah. And, and I think we'll get there because it's uh, it's really like, like it all goes back to the search to to the, to the written word. Like even if we say it in audio or in video, we want to have the written word because then we want to find out the paragraph or the place where they said that what they said. So it's it's really um, it's really important. And then uh, also. Um, uh, a pro tip, uh, like in uh, on Mac, for example, there are Siri shortcuts, so you can quickly create shortcuts for for writing stuff down. Um, for example, um, Rafa, the other day I was uh, ordering um, plane tickets uh, for the reunion, and uh, as you know, uh, I fly with just one airline because <laughs> this airline gives me direct connections, <laughs> and, and everywhere I go, I mean, to most places where I go. So basically. Most of the tickets that I order, um, now that I'm ordering tickets back for plane after the pandemic, are with this airline. So they always send me the same email confirmation. I mean, it's, it's formatted the same way. You know, congratulations, Michael, you ordered the tickets for like this flight at that time, blah, blah, blah. So what I did is I created, I spent, again, five minutes, maybe 10, to create a shortcut that, that basically I can just copy this chunk of text that gives me the details of the flight. And my shortcut parses, goes through each line and parses this to know what is the flight, when it starts, when it when it lands, and creates a calendar entry in my calendar. So it's just basically add, uh, adds a calendar entry um, uh, to, yeah, to my calendar and uh, it's done. So this way I wrote it down in my calendar. So I don't have to, again, remember when was the flight, what was the flight, and all that stuff. It's all in the calendar entry. So it's, I'm sure it can be done even better. Maybe you can just format the whole email or whatever. I, yeah, I, and if you are using Google uh, for this, it, it, it should create automatically the, the flight details in Google Calendar. It could be. It could be, but I, I remember that it was kind of failing me at some point, so uh, or not to adding it always consistently uh, for some reason so i just decided like i'm, I'm going to just you know copy and paste and it, and i mean copy and paste it to shortcut and it just creates the event so yeah. um, um and i have several series shortcuts so we're going to put them in the show notes as as you know i have a shortcut for journaling so we'll link to my whole article on my blog about journaling and again it's shortcut so it asks me questions so helps me write stuff down and write my thoughts down also i have a shortcut to blog something when I have an idea for a blog post, uh, I launch the shortcut and you know put a title and put a few notes and then it, it, it creates a text file in my um, uh, iCloud AI Writer uh, library. Um, I even have this shortcut with a share sheet. So for example, if I read an, an interesting article uh, and I click the shortcut, I can write the title and then in the in the body of the text, it's already the link to this article. So this way, um, I can later um, refer to this article in the blog post. Yeah. So so you so you say if you like uh, drafts of yes, yeah, drafts of the blog post. Uh, exactly. So when post, I yeah. when I feel like posting something, I can just go through my drafts and like, oh, I'm I feel like posting about this, so I'm gonna just extend this and and and, and write it up. So um, and because uh, you know, if you see like Michael dot team, my blog. Uh, there are more than 1,000 blog posts already. So I, I like writing on my personal blog. I just enjoy it. And um, that's why, you know, it's there. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think the tool we used to for Twitter, Typefully, also has, has this kind of feature of, of drafts. And there is some kind of shortcut to to add, add, add something to as a draft. 
Yeah, yeah. The other day I was thinking that you know that uh, some of the blog posts I can just write directly in Typefully, um, and convert them to a thread very quick, very easily because uh, uh, I think. Also, it could improve my writing because then if it's a thread, every tweet counts. It has to be concise and very well written and edited. So this way, my blog post would not be that you know long. It would be shorter because it would be basically consisting of tweetable, uh, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, phrases. Yeah, tweetable paragraphs. <laughs> exactly, tweetable <laughs> paragraphs, exactly. And I think it's a good tip to practice writing, you mm -hmm. know, to, 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 to write a thread first for Twitter that you wouldn't be ashamed of and then later convert it into a blog post, which is, you know, exactly with uh, every paragraph tweetable. Okay, and how uh, do you use QuickNote on your iPad to quickly jot, jot things down? Because it mm -hmm. seems like a very obvious feature for, for right. Us. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I should try it more. Like I, I don't. Like I have to. It's, it's, it's a new feature, and I have my pencil all the time on me, so I can even use the pencil just to write something down. But I don't. What I do use a lot, a lot, is whenever I see, for example, a bug or or or, or a feature or a suggestion or something cool, I want to communicate to the team. I do the screenshot um, on the iPad and write stuff with pencil, like annotated with pencil, the screenshot, save it to photos, and then later, or directly, or directly use the share sheet to uh, uh, add it to Nosby, or share it to, uh, to photos, and then go to the task that already has its, you know, has a history about it, and then I can just attach the screenshot. Yeah. So so the screenshots, for example, on the on the iPad with the pencil, they're just glorious because I can really very easily point out the, the problems, point out or, or a suggestion or a solution or something. Uh, later, I try to delete the screenshots from my, you know, photo library. But for that moment that I can attach it to any any kind of task um, anywhere to, to give feedback to my, uh, to my peers, it's fantastic. Yeah, on Mac, I do the similar thing i just grab the screenshot with i use clean shot uh, mm -hmm. clean shot x it's a wonderful tool to grabbing screenshot and uh, short screencast uh, and i just dro drop it on my priority list and it creates task with this and i can later la later uh, write down uh, write down details to the team yeah so um uh, about writing things to the team uh, Again, many people, if they want to communicate, and we talked about meetings and how they have to be optional, well-prepared and regular, um, the one thing that it's really important before you do a meeting with anyone, write it up first for them and give them a chance to read it first. Like um, after the reunion, when I was on my flight, I did my quarterly review because I don't know, this kind of thing that, that you fly high above in the sky, I have this perspective on the world and I, I am offline so there is no temptation to do something apart from you know binge watching some videos that I say on the iPad uh, but it's it's glorious it's fantastic I, I open my uh, linear app where I have uh, a few templates where I can just fill them out and just write stuff and um, what I did was also thinking you know what I can do to improve our marketing efforts you know everything that we're going to do this quarter um, uh, at Mosby and I had this plan so my first inclination was Okay, so I'm going to talk to my marketing team on Monday right away, even though we have a marketing team meeting on Tuesday. On Monday, I'm going to tell them all about this plan. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to write it up on Monday for them. And I'm yes. going to talk to them you did. <laughs> on, on, on Tuesday. And I did that, you remember. So I wrote it up on Monday um, as a document. And, uh, you know, we have so great tools like, you know, Dropbox Paper or Google Docs or Microsoft Word uh, online where you can very easily comment also on things, so on paragraphs. Um, so I, I write it up in, in such a document. And then this document I posted as a link uh, in a comment in a task uh, about you know, when we had our agenda for the, uh, for the marketing meeting. And this way, on Monday, people could read that stuff before we discussed them on Tuesday. So that's why writing stuff down is so important. Like When your first inclination is to discuss, to meet, which is the obvious choice because it's the easiest. Stop. Write it up. Once you've done it, send it to the people. Give them chance to think about it, 
to 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 you know to ponder on it to give you better feedback to have time to digest what you want them to hear and then discuss the new ones on the meeting so again we talked about it when we talked about meetings but it it, it really correlates with this you know um idea to writing uh, you know the importance of writing stuff down instead of getting a meeting first write it Yep, and w w one important thing that you said we use many tools like Dropbox Paper, like Microsoft Word, or Slack. We some sometimes discuss something on Slack on on chat, but uh, uh, always after that, the result of this discussion is posted as a task in Nosby. Mm -hmm. And in, in this meeting, we created a special project for the for the thing we we were talking about, and already created a task there. Exactly. Like so, um, uh, our uh, my document posted on Monday was just the like, initiation of conversation because later we we had a meeting and later after the meeting we created tasks for that so the document is no longer relevant actually it's no longer the source of truth the source of truth is, is in Nosby yeah. after as a result of my writing this document us discussing it and now creating tasks um, for, for that so it's it's really important to like have this process like this so again Right, right, right. Yeah, and if if you are, you are part of a team that likes meetings <laughs> and you don't, <laughs> try to write more stuff down before and after the meeting to really show your teammates that many many things can be discussed asynchronously via text, and that way you can have effective meeting or shorter meeting or less meetings at all. So. Be proactive and do the first steps to reduce your time spent on un unnecessary meetings. Oh, that's brilliant, uh, Rafa. You're so right. People many times ask me how to convince boss to have fewer meetings. This is the way. Do what Rafa said. Write stuff down. Write it up before the meeting so that people can actually refer to that. And then they will see, huh, this is interesting. Maybe I'm going to write something as well. So <laughs> you, you're going to just, you know, keep poking the box, keep, keep, you know, pushing them to write. And this way you will change gradually, slowly, but surely you will change the culture of your workplace by just writing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, one more thing I want to try about writing stuff down, which is also very important is when you write things down in Nosby or in Notes app or another place, it's very important to review those places regularly. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why you, we have uh, this this tool called Weekly Review. <laughs> and Mighty Friday. <laughs> yes, and my, Mighty, Mighty Fridays. And uh, the Weekly Review is, is one uh, one activity we do on Mighty Friday. And and yeah, that's that's the that's the time when you, I review all the um not not so important places i put stuff i write things down for example i review my quick notes in notes, exactly. notes app, yeah uh because i i don't use it that much uh, when when i used to when i had my ipad as my main mobile computer but i still use it sometimes on my mac and on my ipad mini with a pencil uh or with a share sheet um so yeah and i save i save stuff there i wrote write write stuff the the that but i know that they are not so important that they don't have to be a task right away yeah i can process it later yeah uh and of course for the most important stuff i write write them as tasks and I try to uh, have incoming uh, counter on zero by the end of every day, so that that's that's how I that's how I assure that anything uh, that is really important uh, is not missed. Yeah, yeah and um, also downloads folder. For example, if you have a downloads folder, you download stuff uh, throughout the week. Check it out because there might be a gem there. There might be something that is a task actually <laughs> there, um, you know, because you just downloaded it but you forgot about it. So now it's good time to review it. Yeah, actually, that's that's the good good uh, good tip. I forgot about it. Remind me to clean up downloads for the on Friday. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of this, um, because sometimes you don't have a, <clears throat> you don't have a way to write things down. Yeah, but I have an Apple Watch, and I found that 
adding stuff with Siri is not reliable if you try to add add it directly to third party app. Yeah. Yeah. But it works reliable if you add it to reminders. Exactly. And then you can review your reminders, you know, at the end of the week or or they will be just popping up popping up as you just mentioned. Like Siri will remind you on Friday about this. Yeah. Uh that's exactly the point. Okay. Uh I I'm searching through my notes. Uh and I think Yeah, I wanna I, I wanted to just, you know, to to to, to wrap it up basically yeah, because you know we can we can we can, uh, we can talk about this topic for, for a long time um uh, to, i want to just you know summarize i because in my chapter in no office uh, book I, I wrote the benefits of writing stuff down so i'm going to just repeat them here on air because they're pretty good so first the benefits of writing down um you stop forgetting stuff because it's written down it, you don't need to explain things over and over again because it's written down in one place uh, notes can be referred to later. Uh, there is more transparency. People see how things are done, which teaches them how things are done, and they can, you know, keep improving on this. And um, not everyone has to attend all the meetings because they can refer to notes from the meetings. So you don't have to invite everyone and their buddy <laughs> to the meeting. Um, uh, you get better feedback because as people become better writers, they write better comments. And there is just basically less chaos, no stress, and overall better productivity. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. And uh, I see that uh, we have a live comment from a listener. So um, I'm, right, I'm a writing person. I like to write, but sometimes with some people at work, it's better to just talk because they suck at writing. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's true. I I used to suck at writing as well, so and now I feel like I'm I'm good at it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's the matter. I think it's a skill that you can you can learn. Yeah, it's it's just the matter of attitude. Yeah, completely. I mean, um, you, you, as I mentioned, it's better to hire the best writers you can. But even if they're not the best writers, but they're just good people, good people, good at their job. I think by doing, by adding feedback in comments, by writing asynchronous communication, by writing asynchronous comments, a good, thorough comments, you teach them that this is the way to go. And then they want, like, the, 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 the FOMO kicks in. And the good FOMO is like that they also want to write good comments uh, and they will start writing more. Um, uh, you know, on our team, we have a person who, for example, like because, you know, we write comments in English, basically, for most of our tasks, even though we're a Polish-based team. Um, or we have a, a person whose English maybe is not the best, but um, their uh, written English has improved dramatically over the last uh, few years working with us because of writing comments together in English. So it's just a matter of, of will, of, of motivation, and of just consistency. Yeah, yeah, and um, as talking to someone like one-on-one -on -one meeting, it's as a quick meeting can be very, very productive as well. But the most important thing is that to write things down after this. Oh yeah, uh, yesterday I had a very, very tough meeting with Tomas, um, and uh, you know my right-hand man <laughs> in the company because we were discussing some like scheduling conflicts um, of our plans. And it was a, you know, it was a thorough meeting. We were just discussing things um, based, again, based on stuff that I, written, I have written down before. And then after the meeting concluded, the first thing Tomas did was write a thorough comment explaining what we did and, and, and what we're going to change. And then uh, I had another meeting like two, two, two hours later with another colleague and she already knew about it because she read the comment. So <laughs> it's like, it's, it's brilliant. Like, you know, because he... He didn't keep what we discussed on the meeting, but he wrote it down as a comment. Uh, like the, the the word already got out. Yeah, yeah. I I, I know what comment you're referring to. I need to <laughs> add my feedback to there <laughs> to it as well. Um, okay, but uh, not. Uh, let's wrap up this topic and let's take a break uh, because No Office Podcast is sponsored by Nasby, the fastest way to done. It's a task-based async communication tool for personal, family, and business use. So let's hear what Nasby customers say about the product. 
When we've been around for about 10 years, uh, our business has, and we've been using Nosby for about eight of those years. And as we grew, we kind of got to the point where I just couldn't remember everything anymore. Um, I, I'm pretty organized. I would just kind of keep everything in my head and with post-it notes and things like that. And it just got to be too much. And so I started looking around for some sort of project management software that could help me have a set up really a trusted system. Um, but really, I just wanted a system where I could know that I had everything in there. I wasn't going to forget anything. I wasn't going to drop any balls for clients or miss deadlines. Rafael, uh, if we could run this ad also in the audio of the podcast, because uh, uh, it's, it's, it's Sarah's uh, audio and she explains that she was forgetting stuff. So yes, that's it's, why it's it really fits, fits the topic. <laughs> yes, it does. And I remember talking to her, she said that also it gives her superpowers because uh, when customers, for example, call her and, you know, uh, potential customers, prospects call her, they want a website and she's, th she's you know, considering creating a website for them. She writes everything in Nosby, like she writes their name and everything. And then in comments, what they talked about during the, the call. And and she told me uh, on uh, on our interview, and we're going to link to the interview. Um, we have the whole interview in, on a, as a blog post at, at NLB.com. And she said that it's brilliant because let's say they call in two years. Two years later, the same customer calls and they're like, ah, I'm sure you don't remember me. My name is this and this, blah, blah, blah. By the time they say that, she already searches Nosby. She finds the thing and she's like, oh, yeah, I remember. We talk about this and that. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she, and they are just like, how do you remember all that? There we go. Writing stuff down. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let's, uh, let's kick out a little bit. Um, yep. So we had a Nosby reunion. Mm, and do you know that I haven't charged my MacBook uh, there? <laughs> At all. I just, at all, like I packed my MacBook, um, it was fully charged um, on Sunday. I headed to um, to train station. I went to Warsaw to visit Ra Radek uh, mm -hmm. to sleep over at his place. And then on Monday we went to to Lublin to, for our reunion. Uh, and yeah, in this reunion I used my MacBook like one or two hours per day. Oh, mm -hmm. and I also use use it uh, in a train to Warsaw for one or two hours uh -huh. to do my weekly review. <laughs> it was Sunday was my mighty Friday. <laughs> okay. Uh, that that week and and yeah, I I I haven't uh, run out of battery because the battery is awesome on this MacBook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I did some work like I I did some invoicing. Uh, I responded for some support tickets. From during reunion and yeah it was really nice experience i only needed to charge it on on friday when we come back from reunion to warsaw to radex place and that, that i charge it because i wanted to use it on a train back to my place on, on, on saturday uh, uh, that's brilliant man i'm um, this is uh why i'm envious about the new macbooks um in that sense because yeah, my so ipad I, I, yeah my macbook pro 14 inch uh, yeah it's like it's the I, I think it's yeah I, I just love it, love this computer so much. I mean, this is the only gripe with my iPad that you know it's it's it's, it's a fantastic machine. I love my iPad Pro, but um, when you do things on it, you know, when you have an, your meetings and all that stuff, and when you have at full brightness, and very often I need to put a full brightness when I'm like in the airplane or something. So then it you know it it, it lasts seven eight hours. It doesn't last even ten hours. Um, so that way, you know, I have to charge my iPad quite often. I would love to have an iPad with 20-hour battery life, like just not to worry at all about battery life, but it's not the case. And especially, of course, with Zoom calls, for example, when we have Zoom call um, and I have it on battery, then it drains battery twice as fast. So um, in that sense, um, you know, it's, it's, it's worse than the new MacBooks, um, but um, in every other way, it's, it's a perfect machine. So <laughs> I, st I still prefer it. <laughs> Yeah, that good good for you. Uh, the most important thing that our our machines uh, bring us joy. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. Also, uh, now that we are on video, um, who is watching us on video? Can, can they can see our merch? Because I think you have the T-shirt, right, from Nosby Reunion. Yes, I have a T-shirt from Nosby Reunion. And I have the polo long sleeve with Nosby logo. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so um, so we got these, and we got a Nosby backpack, 
uh, which uh, people were asking for an LPP backpack. Yeah, no. I have it here, actually. Uh, so I will show it as a also as a photo uh, of uh, chapter, chapter art. art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's it's really nice backpack. I'm glad uh, Ivona picked it, picked it up. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not perfect, but it's very 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 good, and I already love it. Um, yeah, it's the Nord Ace uh, Nord Ace Sienna Smart Backpack. Uh, that's that's so, the model. Uh, it has this USB port, so you can connect a power bank inside and uh, connect your your smartphone to the uh, external USB port on on the backpack. And uh, the nice feature of this backpack is it can stay. Um, um, the shape of the backpack uh, really uh, stays almost the same if if it's yeah. empty and if it's full. So, so it stays horizontal, like you can, yeah, uh, it vertical. Stays horizontal sorry. when when you vertical. put it on the floor, vertical. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's that's really nice, and I already tested it because I use it to travel back. Uh, so because, mm -hmm. yeah, that, the funny thing is because I traveled backpack only but with an asterisk <laughs> mm -hmm. to to this reunion um because i wanted i wanted to to travel backpack only but i wanted to have uh, as few things as possible so i uh, sent some stuff to myself to lublin uh, via uh, <laughs> this we have this pachkomaty thing it's it's i don't know if it's popular uh, outside of poland Probably some somewhere in Europe, but don't know if in the US. Uh, but we we have this many many machines on the street that has some drawers for your parcels, and you can yeah the the carriers uh, move them between those parcels, and you can put put them inside to send it and and, uh, and take it, it away in the, yeah in the in, in in the same in similar machine in other city <laughs> yeah. So I I use it to send send me um, I sent uh, yeah I sent a homemade wine <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to to sh to show it to, to to give it to 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 the team so they can try it because it's it's the wine made by my dad. It was very good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it 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 was heavy. So it's it was it wasn't uh, good for backpack only. And I use my two or three t shirt to. Um, to make sure that the wine is uh, will not gonna break uh -huh. in the in the transport. Uh, yeah, and I actually didn't use those t-shirts <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I did because we got so much uh, so many merch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got uh, quite a few. That's, that's why I was you know before I I uh, packed I asked Magda because you know in my company I don't know what's coming because Magda decides um, she organizes the reunion so she decides what what kind of gadgets we have um, and my uh, you know my father the our, our uh, you know CFO pays the bills so I really don't know <laughs> that's why I'm also getting surprised you know what's gonna what's gonna be next next time so I asked her um, what's coming I mean what kind of um, clothing is coming so that I knew how many shirts I should pack and still I packed too many. As, yeah. <laughs> as, as, as yourself, I haven't used like two shirts that I packed um, because we get we got so many and you know we 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 got used uh, I, like we didn't use them so um, yeah in the end uh, I didn't need that much that, 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 that much that much pieces that many pieces of clothing uh, for the reunion. Um, yep, and another tip I wanted to share it's actually your tip because our Polish um, train system. Uh, you can have a ticket with a QR code, but there is no way to add it to Apple Wallet. Yeah. Uh, even if you try it with some apps that can do that, the mm -hmm. result it's broken. is that you have it's it's broken. It's not gonna work. So uh, the the I always uh, use it like that. I have a Dropbox folder and I put put uh, tickets there, and I I before the trip I made sure that. The um, this folder is local download uh, is, is download locally on my iPhone because sometimes on train you don't have a reception, yep. So you don't have an internet connection and yeah, you shared a nice tip, but actually it's better to add it to a note. Yes, note notes app because you then can have a notes widget on an iPhone mm -hmm. with this this specific note uh, with when you have all the all the necessary information about your trip, your tickets, etc. And that's available offline. So 
that's that was really cool. I did that and yeah, I really liked it. I mean, having a note in Notes app is also good because when you take pictures there, the pictures go only to this note. They don't go to your camera roll. So for example, this way, I take a picture of the parking place where I parked the car. Uh, I take a picture of something else that I have to remember. So I can, and then I also add the PDFs of you know, tickets and all that stuff also to this note. So in this one handy note, I have all the you know reference information for this trip. And it's offline always because this is how notes work. They they download offline to your um, to your phone, so uh, I don't have to worry that exactly at the time when the ticket checker person comes, um, <laughs> there will be no reception, no service, and I will not be able yes. to show them the ticket. So um, it's it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good tip. Yeah, uh, I see that a listener is sharing that uh, they always put. Uh, train tickets, uh, Polish train tickets to books up. <laughs> so they, ah. they are also available offline. Yeah, but in books up, I really have books. So I prefer to, <laughs> to have notes. And, and you know, and this is one thing that I also did uh, recently when I was, when I switched to, to this new um, MacBook Air and that I finally got rid of my Evernote subscription, premium subscription. I am on Evernote free now um, because I still have it. Just in case, I need to check some note, some random note that I still haven't imported. But I basically went through all my thousands of notes and just chose the ones to to export. And it, and by basically from Evernote, you can export to NX format, their proprietary format. But then in, on the Mac, you can import these notes yeah. very easily to the Notes app. So now um, I've uh, you know I either downloaded some of these things as PDFs to a Dropbox folder or iCloud folder, but sometimes I just imported them to Notes. So basically, I managed to move my life out of Evernote, and I'm not using it anymore. I'm using right now Apple Notes or you know the iCloud Drive. Yeah, so same as me, like, because like there are many great apps for Notes, but the system Notes app is is really really good and. It, it has always some advantages because of like spotlight integration, etc. It's always more reliable. Yeah. yeah, and then you have we have great apps. I mean, both the Notes app scans things very well. Yeah. So for, again, another tip um, is that all my cards, uh, for membership cards, are scanned as well. I, I take pictures of them, and I have one note for all these cards. So, for example, uh, the other day I was um, getting my uh, youngest daughter vaccinated. And they wanted her, you know, health insurance card, and I didn't bring it with me. I had it on my uh, in my notes, and I showed it to them, and they just checked check the, the 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 number, and they were like, "Okay, good, and you're good to go." So uh, this way, you can have all these cards handy. You don't have to carry them with you. That's why you can have a minimal. Yeah, wallet like and, and there are even apps that some of them you can add to Apple Wallet and even connect them with a specific location. So, for example, yeah. when you are in IKEA. You, mm -hmm. you will have a notification with your IKEA card ready to show. Ah, that's a good idea. I, I use that. Uh, I use that, for example, like the, the recently I got, I started, you know, donating blood for my first time and uh, I scanned the card, uh, but then I converted this card also to the wallet card. So that's why I have a wallet uh, entry um, with my, you know, ID of blood donator guy. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh... Uh, anything else you want to share from from the union? Um, it was good to see you all. I oh, and 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 <laughs> yes, but, but yeah, but um, the thing is that we figured out after so many reunions that the most important thing actually is to hang out, is just to be together. Like we don't need to do many things. We don't need to work on many things. We don't need to really have uh, like a really. Workshops or workshops, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. We need to have a plan to hang out in different environments. And uh, things that we discovered, for example, was it was good to have a guided tour of the city because we always go to a different city. And on Tuesday, we had a guided tour to the city, and it was brilliant because this way, like the rest of the days, I felt more at home in city of Lublin, which was my second time visiting it and first time really staying longer. And after the guided tour, I, feel, I, feel, I felt like I knew the city, you know? And now we know that every time we do a reunion, we have to have a guided tour of the new city on Tuesday, right away when we, uh, you know, we land on Monday, we have the keynote and stuff. But then on Tuesday, first thing, we should have a guided tour. This way we, you know, learn the place. We know what it's all about. And it was very, very good. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I enjoy it uh, a lot. Uh, the guided tour, the city by itself, uh, the museums we visited, and uh, the workshops of create of baking cebulaja. It's a special, <laughs> a special kind of pizza like from onion. <laughs> yeah, uh, local uh, local traditional food. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, that was really fun, and can't wait for next reunion um, in the autumn. Um, so yeah, but we wanted also to mentioned that uh, we have some um, some improvements to our referral program in Nosby. And yeah. you can you can just give uh, by recommending Nosby you can give fifteen dollars to your people. <laughs> yeah, I mean the, the the thing is that we wanted to combine like a referral program and affiliate program like everything in one place. So we wanted I mean word of mouth is the key. Like this is why we are still here after 15 years because people were recommending Nosby to others. This is why this is how we got our marketing done basically. And we want to really improve it now. And uh, if you go to nosby.com slash refer or refer a team.com um, uh, then uh, you will learn all about it. But the, the cool change was inspired by our re recent promo. We had a promo um, uh, because of our 15 years of Nosby. We had a promo that uh, when you sell, sign up for a free account at Nosby, you get $15 or 15 euros or 15 pounds or 60 is what it, um, a, as credits. And you can use it to upgrade or extend your premium subscription. Uh, and you get it if you sign up for a free account. So you can use free, you know, up to five projects and five people as long as you want. But when you decide to up the, upgrade to premium, you can use the credits to do that. And we thought after the promo, because it was very popular, like we have we had two or 3,000 people they get the credits. So we thought, you know, let's just um, extend it to our, you know, affiliates, referrals. So um, when you go, so when person when a person goes to nosby.com and they sign up for an account, they don't get the credits. But if they go through you, through your recommendation, nosby.com slash, you know, your affiliate ID, uh, you uh, give them 15 bucks. So like they when they sign up, they get the credits instantly. And of course, if they sign up to, for premium and they start paying, you get a 25% recurring commission. So like it's great all around. But the best part is I think the recommending person gives them a better deal than they would have otherwise. And I think it's, it's the key of a good referral program that when they come from you, they get something in return. Not just it's, it's like your business because you want to have a commission. No, it's, it's also their business because they get the credit. And of course, when you get the commission, you can use the commission and apply it directly to extend your account. So uh, it's really win-win. Like you, and when you recommend to four people and then, and then four people sign up for a year, basically it's a free year of Nosby for you. So, yeah, and, this, and for, for this person that uses your link, um, this $15, $15 is all, you can exchange it to almost, I think, two months of Nosby Premium for one person. Exactly. So it's it's a much better deal than a free trial because then actually they have a longer period of time that they can try um, uh, try using Nosby. So yeah. You know. Plus, and if you don't have a Nosby account yet, you can use our uh, referral link, which is if you use nooffice.fm website to sign up. There is in the, in the header there is a sign up button for Nosby on uh, our podcast website nooffice.fm. You will will also get those fifteen dollars. <laughs> Yeah, because we created a special, um, a special no office affiliate. We are affiliated of uh, <laughs> affiliates of ourselves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, we don't use the commission because <laughs> it goes internally to the to the company. But uh, at least we can give you the fifteen dollars. So if you want the fifteen bucks from us, go to nooffice.fm. If you want to learn want to learn more about how to refer people to Nosby, go to referatim.com, and you will learn all about it. How to set it up correctly. How to convince people to start using Nosby because if you like it, I'm sure they will like it. And then maybe you can have a joint project with them and collaborate with them. You know, the sky is the limit. <laughs> exactly. Sky is the limit. And I think it's a time to wrap up this episode. Yep. So uh, what day is tomorrow, Michael? It's Friday. Yes, and Friday. So remember to make it mighty Friday. And that means that you should do your weekly review, plan priorities for next week, and spend the rest of the day on learning something new, some new skill that you can later use it in your work or uh, learn how to better use the tools that 
that you are using in uh, with your team for example learn some new features of Nodby, and after this you can have a great weekend and yeah and i think it's time for us to have this you know adios moment this uh, goodbye moment as a homework section so homework for you our listener is um go to notbycom slash Friday or FridayIsFree.com and learn more about Mighty Fridays. But because it's about writing stuff down, so think about a way how you can speed up writing stuff down for you. Think about maybe shortcuts or any other things that you can do uh, this Friday so that next week is going to be easier for you to write stuff down. And if you don't know how to touch type, we will uh, you know, have a link in the show notes about how to touch type and why it's important. You can start learning, start a touch type course on Friday to learn how to type faster and write faster. So um, this Friday, make it a homework to write stuff down better. Yes, actually, touch type is a very good tool. And as we talk about writing stuff down, I just write, wrote down to include the link to touch type course in our show notes, <laughs> in our task. <laughs> and a yes. video from 10 years ago where I showed how touch typing works. <laughs> yes. so, so many layers. OK. Yeah. Um, OK, remember that uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please help support this podcast either by sharing it with a friend or leaving us a nice review in Apple Podcast uh, or by checking out our Nosby app. So that's it for today. Say goodbye, Michael. Thank you, guys. Have a great Friday and uh, learn how to write stuff down better. This episode has not been created in the office because in Nosby there is no office. Your hosts were Michael Stevinski and Rafał Subolewski. All the links and show notes you will find on nooffice.fm slash 39. The whole production process of this episode has been coordinated in a project in Nosby app. Control is good, but writing stuff down and transparency and trust are so much better. Thank you and see you in two weeks. Remember to have a mighty Friday. Don't cram 20 people on Zoom. Fluorescent lighted office all day long. You know, you probably are going to work from home.